What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video. And today, uh, trying something out that I've been kind of uh, thinking about doing for a little while is responding to a couple of y'all's comments in video form. Uh, one of the main reasons is like, you know, I generally try to answer a couple questions or like talk to people in the comments sometimes. Sometimes I don't get to, or I usually don't get to everybody's comments. So. I was thinking maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks to make a video where I would just respond to a bunch of y'all's comments from like recent videos. So the first one, I'm seeing a ton more base Goku online. Get ready to see a lot more. Uh, one thing that kind of happened because there's no tournaments going on, so people are taking a lot more time to experiment with teams or especially like, especially, especially if online. Uh, I noticed, especially at the beginning of Season 3, people switching teams and stuff like that, but mostly it seems that people really do actually want to play their favorite characters, and with no big tournaments going on, there's nobody to, like, copy right now. So, you can you can go and see who, like, some of the top players are playing, but there hasn't been, like, a defined event of, like, this person has won this tournament with these three characters using this yet. So, uh... I feel like this process that would normally happen is actually taking a little bit longer than normal. That being said, base Goku's kind of good. I think we should get ready to see a lot more of him. I can't wait to start seeing people say they're tired of base Goku. That means we have we would have gone through the entire cycle of a character who went from super underplayed to very, very common, meta, whatever you want to call them. Bro, your freaking gamepad is too loud. Jesus. I don't know what to say about this, uh, the moves will not come out unless I press the buttons hard. That's how it works when you play stick, uh, there's nothing else I can say. This is a classic, classic, classic fighting game rule about playing stick. There are people who press buttons louder than me. I guess the only thing I can say is like this specific stick I have actually opens up, uh, I mean it opens up easily. I shouldn't say it just opens up, it opens up easily. It, there's a button I could press and it just opens up. So it's like kind of hollow, more hollow than a normal stick. So I understand it's a little bit louder, but in order to get my feelings through the game, I have to press the buttons that loud. So I'm sorry, I'm working on that line. Skipping over Tien as an anchor, this is in the context of anchor, right? Seems like a pretty big oversight. He may be better at mid, but I feel like he has all the tools to play anchor, so it feels team dependent. His assists are all solid, B assists especially. He's got volleyball fist for an armored low, which covers most of the screen. His EX command grab is nigh unreactable, leads to solid damage. Tagging knee chop is an instant overhead that leads into combo, all of which amounts to real solid mix up play with huge damage output, either a limit break or sparking. Um, so in that video, I was mostly going based off my uh, knowledge of the game. I'm aware of all the stuff he has mostly. Uh, as I said with base Goku, base Goku was memeing a little bit like, oh, I can't wait until uh, everyone starts bitching about base Goku being too common or whatever. But one of the downsides of them are not being a lot of tournaments right now, uh, and big tournaments especially, is that I don't get to see what other people are doing. And that goes into characters as well, because there are characters like I just don't play. Like I've never played Tian. Like he just doesn't really do it for me. Another character that is mad good or has or has been mad good traditionally in the game that I've never played is Adult Gohan. Like I just don't like the way Adult Gohan plays. So I've never touched him. So everything I've learned about these two characters have been from watching other people play and playing against them. So like as far as 10, like some of the stuff you're saying is correct. Like he, his command grab's 24, which I definitely did wrong into. His command grab's 24, so a lot of command grabs in this game are 24 frames. Pretty difficult to deal with. The TK chop, I believe, is actually 21. Um, so it's like 17, but plus four. But when you do it in the air, uh, it's 13. So it's actually pretty legit. He's always had like that anchor function in the game. I actually felt like it was like some changes in season two that made people like stop using him as an anchor and stop using him in general mostly like the multi-level one but also like how much damage he did to himself i believe so as far as season three it's not that i don't see him being able to play this slot like totally it's just like out of my knowledge of what we have available i didn't want to say like oh he's for sure an anchor like a really good anchor uh, i kind of don't like putting such absolutes on things that i'm not sure about but like down the line, sure, I think I think it's something that could definitely happen. Okay, and for the last comment, this one, uh, I know this one's kind of the elephant in the room, so I saved this one for the end. Uh, yo, LK, if you get the hit, 
and you get a full combo, you're already at a high advantage. So why do you need snap to remove the purpose of defense and turn defense into a blind guess? I'm seriously curious, bro, because if you have good setups after combos, you can make people guess, but with the way snap was, you could literally close your eyes and just guess if they're going to go high or low. I seriously think you need to make a video explaining your feelings on why you feel the way you do about snaps, because a lot of people here in the comment section feel like me and differ from you. Uh, I've definitely talked about this on streams a lot. Uh, I don't think I've made a video specifically about this one thing. Uh, I usually talk about, when I talk about snap in the videos, I usually talk about why I disagree uh, that there was a snap meta in the first place. So this, uh, I say this one for last, once again, because uh, this, this is the big one for a lot of people. Uh, and this is definitely going into the place of what I hate about this game more than almost more than anything else in the game so the reason why i like snap so much and i have my good old season two end of the world tour team i miss you guys good friends is uh it's not like it's like super fun to do or anything you know like that i i joke about it a lot like oh my god super fun super cool but the main reason i like snap is that it creates a, a path to winning the game that makes sense because in this game, compared to other fighting games, you have to remember, this is not my first fighting game. Uh, I've played fighting games f competitively for a decade now. And a lot of things in Dragon Ball just don't make sense at all. So one of the biggest ones, and this drove me nuts, especially when I started playing the game like uh, year one, season one. This used to drive me nuts. Why am I beating people in neutral? And I would watch my videos over and over and over and over. Why do I beat people in neutral? knock them down, and then I get hit, and then my character dies so often. And you, what people normally say who don't know that much about fighting games is they'll say stuff like, well, you know, like, you know, he, it was mind games, man. Like, he read you and he got out and then you died, right? But typically what I'm used to doing is that I get a hit of some sort, and you could build a plan of like, okay, I got this hit, so this leads to this, this leads to this, this leads to this. Uh, it's way more complicated than that, I just try to simplify it a lot. In Dragon Ball, there is no game with as many defensive options when you hit somebody as Dragon Ball. It's actually extreme. You have delay down, 30 frame delay down that you can't hit. Every other game that has a variable down tech, the way Dragon Ball does, you you. If you could change your timing, you can get hit if you stay on the ground too long. In Dragon Ball, you can't. In Dragon Ball, when you knock them down, they can get up in the air. And you have Reflect, that's frame 1. So even characters that don't have reversals, like DPs, like Team Go or something, they have something to push you off. And because of that, you can Reflect Tag. So you have so much, like, way, 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 way more stuff that's all super high return if they're right, and you can die. So it... it the place I started to go, like, extrapolate from this is, like, I already knew this game has a lot of safeguards to make it so that the skill levels are closer, uh, but it, it got to the point where I'm like, man, like, I'm, I feel like I'm almost better than almost everyone at neutral, but I hit them, and then they hit me with the system, and then I die over and over. So Snap was, like, a very, very clear solution to this problem and one that i think solves from my perspective one of the biggest problems of the game which is the defense is too good like it's i have no issue with defensive options like every game i'm playing grand blue right now for example right grand blue actually has three different tech timings when you knock people down too generally and the devs made it so that there's just no way to cover all the techs especially mid screen there's no way uh it's very 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 hard to do and it's really really limited context to doing it and i don't care because i don't if like my opponent gets out generally the ways they get out i don't like melt like i don't like actually get destroyed for being wrong like in this game when you're wrong it's really really extreme and because there's so many types of knockdown options like even when people do like even when people do stuff like delay down tech, dash out the corner, delay down tech reflect, delay down tech mash, jump pull tag, I actually think that's all terrible defense. It, I'm, this is my opinion. I don't, usually I talk about facts on this channel or things that are close to facts. This is my opinion. I think it's all bad, like terrible, terrible, terrible defense. 
but it's just part of the game. Like, the game lets you do all this stuff. So, Snap made it so not only do I beat all these things, but I actually understand what to do straight up when I hit people. Uh, in Season 1, I was kind of slow on the uptake, as a, as a side note. I was kind of slow on the uptake, and it took me a while to understand that, like, oh, like, the things that have been winning in Season 1 is like, oh, you need, like, a really good level 3, so that when you knock, you knock them down like this, and they can only get up this way, and if they want to reflect, then they're betting their life, and most of the characters with good level 3s could stop you from reflecting all this stuff, right? It took me uh, a little while to get that part, but... Uh, with Snap, once once we got to mm, once we got to Universal Fuzzy, as soon as I saw Universal Fuzzy, I was like, "This is it! Like this this is like the plan that I need to to actually build a game plan that makes sense for the way I generally play fighting games." I understand, especially at lower levels, really disliking, it, and especially if you haven't played another fighting game before, you wouldn't get that like normally the interaction between players like that are not at such extremes but this game from top to bottom is about extremes so snap like simultaneously removes that issue for me and actually the person who's getting snapped actually as i said before it's usually not that bad because you'd have to basically be playing a world-class player for it to be really threatening like the tingoan team like i said you would snap hit them snap Universal Fuzzy, Spirit Bomb, goodbye. Like, it's just, it, that is the maximum punishment. That's why I thought this team was, like, maybe the best team in the game, or at least, like, top three team in the game. Because it was super, super extreme punishment. But it has to be done, because Dragon Ball just gives you guys too much. Uh, for one final point about this, uh, and this, this is also opinion. I basically think the way they made this game is that uh, the devs don't care how good the best players are. Like, the best players will just be the best players. Like, I, and I'm talking about like your top five, top ten players in the world. They they can't nerf those players. Like, no matter what they do, those players will always rise to the top and just like win, just with whatever's good, whatever's stupid. So with the level threes in season one, with snaps and strong snap teams in GT and Kibu in season two, and whatever comes up in season three, those players will always be there. This game, in my opinion, is made so that all the levels that aren't world-class levels are much 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 closer than they would be in any other fighting game uh, one thing that really that really commonly happens is that uh and i actually get like sad when people say this is like i play somebody for the first time and like man okay i'm so excited to play you i hope i could like take a character or take a game i get i get sad when people say that in other games like oh i hope i could take a round off you i'm like oh don't be like that dude like let's just play but in dragon ball it it's like double because the game is literally made so that opponents can do that to people that are better than them. like that's just the way the game's made so it so it, it hurts because i don't like it i, I want people to like like be motivated and feel like good about themselves and stuff like that. So I don't want to be like sit down like man. I don't. I don't even know if I can take a character because, because I want them to like you know have fun, be motivated, don't be nervous, just just playing like casual matches with me. But then also on top of that, the game's made for you to do that. So like, I'm just like man, this this energy is so like rough, right? So snap being changed the way it was in season three the variable timing it's just another like when i saw it, i'm like wow they put yet another variable thing to make the game like unnecessarily harder to play uh so that being said that's the main reason why i like snap so much hopefully that makes sense i, I could actually talk about this for much 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 longer this is like a like a short summary of it all hopefully that makes sense all right, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to try to pick four or five, maybe like every two weeks or once a month or something. Leave a comment in the comment section as usual. If you have a question, go ahead, leave it there. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.